and welcome to Frederick County Public Library's Daily Storytime every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. My name is Miss Janet and I'm so glad to have you here today. So to start my story time, we're all going to stand up, go ahead, stand up, and we're going to sing my favorite song by Mr. John, and it's If You're Happy and You Know It. So go ahead, stand up, get your clapping hands ready, your stomping feet ready, get ready to yell, yippee, which is my favorite part. And then don't forget those tickle fingers, okay? Let's start the music. Let's get on with the rest of our story time. During our story time today, we're going to be using a drum and we're going to march around during our song. So if you would like to pause this video and go and find maybe, let's see, if you don't have a drum at home, maybe a plastic plate and a spoon that you can bang on or maybe, or maybe just a plate or even if you have a book sitting around, you can bang on the book. And if worse comes to worse, if you don't want to go grab anything, you can always just clap your hands. Okay? So I just wanted to give you the opportunity. Okay? So go ahead. Go find something if you'd like. Okay. Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Today's story time is about this big animal that's right behind me. Do you know what that is? A dinosaur. That's right. Oops. <laughs> My books today are about dinosaurs. Yeah. So we're going to do a song, a flannel story, and a book about dinosaurs. What do you think? Would it be kind of fun to have dinosaurs today? Hmm. I wonder. Our story today talks about that. It is If Dinosaurs Came Back by Bernard Most. Now, Bernard wrote and illustrated this book. That means he drew the pictures and wrote the words. We'd like to thank Hardcore Incorporated for allowing us to read the books. So let's see, let's start. This is a big book, so it's hard to hold on to and show you, so I'm gonna do my best. I like dinosaurs. I think about them all the time. I read about them. I talk about them. Oh, how I wish dinosaurs could come back. What do you think? Do you think you'd want dinosaurs to come back? Hmm. Let's see. <gasps> they, if dinosaurs came back, they could carry people to work and back. What do you think? Do you think your mom would like to ride a dinosaur to work? If dinosaurs came back, we wouldn't need any lawnmowers. Look at that. If dinosaurs came back, House painters wouldn't need any ladders. Look at that. They wouldn't need a ladder. You could just climb on a dinosaur. If the dinosaurs came back, they would scare away the robbers. Beware of dinosaur. 
If dinosaurs came back, they would make it easy for farmers to plow their fields with their horns. Hmm, that's kind of neat. If dinosaurs came back, they could help the lumberjacks chop down the trees. Look at that. Those big sharp teeth. If dinosaurs came back, they could help firefighters put out fires. If dinosaurs came back, they could help build skyscrapers. That might be really helpful. Hmm. If dinosaurs came back, they would make great ski slopes. If dinosaurs came back, they could take swimmers for rides at the beach. Now that would be fun. I think I'd enjoy that. If dinosaurs came back, they could help rescue kites that are stuck in very high trees. If dinosaurs came back, mountain climbers would have new mountains to climb. If the dinosaurs came back, they could be a big help at the circus. What do you think? Maybe. Oh, this one's my favorite. Ready? If the dinosaurs came back, they could help librarians get books from the top shelf. What do you think? Do you think we need help getting the books from the top shelf? I don't know. If the dinosaurs came back, dentists would have plenty of teeth to work on. If the dinosaurs came back, giraffes would have someone to look up to. <laughs> if the dinosaurs came back, they could push away rain clouds so the sun would always shine. No, I think we need rain a little bit. But best of all, if the dinosaurs came back, they would make great pets for people who love dinosaurs. Would you love to have a dinosaur pet? Oh, that might be a lot of fun. I wonder how much they eat. The end. <laughs> the end. Good job, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed that story. So. Now's the time, if you have your drum, go ahead and grab it, okay? And we're gonna have to sing a song together, all right? Go ahead, grab your drum, I'll be right back. Okay, boys and girls, are you ready to sing a song? Okay, get out your drums. Remember we got something to beat on? Okay, we're gonna walk around and stomp and pretend we're dinosaurs. So get your stomping feet out and get ready to roar at the end, okay? So, thank you to Lori Berkner for letting us play her song, We Are the Dinosaurs. Can you bang on your drum?
Our flannel story today is called Dottie the Dinosaur. What color is Dottie? What color? Green, that's right. Let's see what colors we can find today. Dottie the Dinosaur loved to eat things like lettuce and string beans. That's why her dinosaur skin was the color a lovely green. Isn't that pretty? One day she saw some cherries and ate them all day long. Later, Dottie the Dinosaur turned bright red, they say. Hmm. Dottie just loved colors, so the next day she ate two bushels filled with blueberries and turned the color blue. Yeah, that's blue. The next day she saw some grapes. Oh, she ate them on the spot. Then Dottie turned quite purple from her bottom to her top. <laughs> Next, she ate a banana. Oh, it made her feel quite mellow. And wouldn't you know it, next thing, Dottie turned a bright yellow. Like that. <laughs> then she ate some juicy orange, just a little slice. And when Dottie turned orange, she thought, hmm, isn't this quite nice? Then she found some cotton candy. Oh, quite tasty, don't you think? And once Dottie ate it up, she turned the color pink. <laughs> Dottie couldn't decide which color she liked the best. So Dottie just ate everything. And oh, was her skin a horrible mess? No, now Dottie had dots of color everywhere. Now Dottie was different, but Dottie didn't care. She liked her new skin. She liked it quite a lot. Now she was the only dinosaur with a coat of polka dots. <laughs> I like that. So what color was your favorite? What was your favorite dinosaur? Did you like the green dinosaur? Or, how about this one? Red? Maybe blue, purple, yellow, orange, pink, or like Dottie, did you like polka dots? Did you like the polka dot Dottie? Which one did you prefer? I don't know. I kind of like them all. Well, now it's time to end our story time. I'm so happy you joined me today. So let's sing our goodbye song. Ready? Now it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. We'll see you all next time. Thank you for joining Frederick County Public Library's Daily Storytime every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Please join us again next time. Bye.